morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, my wonderful listeners, friends, supporters, all around the globe. Thank you so much, guys, for always standing by us and for supporting. God bless you immensely. Please, I'd like to quickly create the indulgence to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The Miyeti Alakato Breeders Association of Nigeria, MACBAN, has accused the Northern Elders Forum of failing to speak against the allegations of corruption and the arrest warrant on the embattled Deputy Commissioner of Police and the head of the intelligence response team of the Nigerian police force, Abba Kiari. The group said it was shameful that the Northern Elders were quiet while the United States and some elements in the southern parts of Nigeria were conniving to persecute the shining stars in the north. The United States Attorney's Office Central District of California had issued an arrest warrant against Abakiari for his alleged links to the suspected fraud star Ramon Olonua Abbas, alias Hush Poppy, who is standing trial for various offenses that includes internet fraud and money laundering. Hush Poppy has since pleaded guilty to the charges and, if convicted, risks a 20-year jail term, three-year supervision upon completion of jail term, and monetary restitution to the tune of $500,000 or more. The United States court documents outlined a dispute among members of the Hush Puppy conspiracy which allegedly prompted him to arrange to have an individual identified as a co-conspirator, Kelly Chibuzo Vincent, jailed in Nigeria by the DCP Abakiari. According to the affidavit, Abakiari is a highly decorated deputy commissioner of police in the Nigerian, force, Nigerian police force who is alleged to have arranged for Vincent to be arrested and jailed at Abbas' behest and then sent Abbas photographs of the victim after he was arrested. Abakiari also allegedly sent bank account details to Hush Puppy, where an account into which Abbas could deposit payment for Vincent's arrest and imprisonment. Abakiari was suspended by the Police Service Commission on Sunday. Speaking during the weekend, the national president of MacBan, Dr. Garus Gololo, said the Northern Elders Forum has failed in its responsibility of protecting the interests of the North. Gololo alleged that same treatment being meted out to Abekiari was done to former chairman of the Economic Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Lamorde and Ibrahim Magu, and a former member of the House of Representatives and chairman of the House of Committee on Petroleum, Farouk Lawan. He said, while the U.S. through the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, and some elements in the southern part of Nigeria have connived to persecute the shining stars from the region using the media, stakeholders in the north have remained silent amidst the crisis. It is a shame that the Northern Elders Forum and other groups in the region would fold their hands and watch while sons of the North who have distinguished themselves in different fields are constantly being persecuted and maligned at the height of their careers, he said. The United States is not the most honest country in the world. What they are doing to Abakiari, they did it to Donald Trump and Al Gore. Let him stand firmly and defend himself because he is Nigerian's future Inspector General of Police, 
and he mustn't allow himself to be rattled, the northern group said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning what the Miyeti Allah has said concerning um, the recent uh, uh, issue and cases, you know, on the embattled supercorp Abakiari, who has been fingered in a fraudulent allegation? Well, it is what it is. The Miyeti Allah is speaking on what uh, standard or what grounds are they speaking out concerning Abakiari? Is it as the Mieti Allah, as the Fulani, or as cattle breeders, or as who, what do they actually represent? Well, that is another issue to be looked into. But however, do you think that there is any plan, according to this allegation by the Mieti Allah, to um, connive with the Southerners or with the U.S., or the South connive with the U.S., to want to um, put Abakiari into in a difficult situation? Well, the reports and the evidences that are coming in from the FBI does not suggest the same. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, if truly he is innocent, then it is easier for him to just, you know, board a plane, go with the FBI, and go and clear his name, if truly he is innocent. And that is what a lot of people are saying as well. But if that is not the case, then why not just turn up himself or turn, up, turn in himself and uh, take responsibility for his actions and face the consequences? Well, I think that will be a difficult one for him to do. But that would have been the best thing for him to do. So as not to drag the matter for too long and to save himself the embarrassment that is actually currently going on internationally because don't forget this matter is no longer being handled at the national level but it's been handled at the international level so it tells you that a lot of um, eyes are on this case and a lot of eyes are on abakiari there have been accusations of how he actually has um you know committed other crimes which have led to him being feared uh and him being you know, respected. But now that the FBI is involved, all those are no longer issues to be worried about. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story? Well, kindly drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.